So I've got a load of these devices for uh, inhaling water vapour. You find them all over the floor in the city I live in. Inside them they've got lithium cells. I want to use those cells for different projects. The idea is to make some little power banks out of the cells that are in them. So I'm opening them up with a pair of pliers. Usually you just pull the back off them and slide the little cell out. Just unsolder the two little spots on it. You have to be careful not to get the cells too hot. These are lithium cells. You've got to be careful with them because they can be dangerous. If they look at all damaged, don't use them. Take care not to short them out. In other words, you don't want a wire going from the positive to the negative terminal. So there's a surprising range of sizes of cells inside these. These ones that look like this, that have the positive and negative on one end, they're called lithium polymer cells. And these ones that are more like cylinders, they're called lithium iron cells. They usually have a capacity rating written on the side. For example, this one's a 550 milliamp hour cell. This one's a 360 milliamp hour cell and this one is a 650 milliamp hour cell to give an idea that means that the the capacity of this is that it can give 650 milliamps for an hour i'm going to be using these for the project so these are just the raw cells and there's a number of ways we have to be careful with them so for example these are all rated at 3.7 volts but you don't want them to discharge to less than three volts and you don't want them so anything under three volts is bad and you don't want them to charge up to more than 4.2 volts so anything up there is bad so you basically have to keep them in this range otherwise they'll become damaged uh, the other thing is so through the life cycle of a battery it would charge up you'd want it to stop charging when it gets to this point and then it would discharge and you need to stop it discharging when it gets to this point. Um, the other thing is you don't want to put too many amps in it. So you don't want it to charge up too fast or discharge too fast. Otherwise it can also get damaged. So to take care of those requirements, I'm using one of these. This is called a TP4056. It's a battery charging board. They're really cheap on eBay, especially if you buy like a pack of 10. Shout out to Big Clive for the tip. Um, is that going to focus? So these are really simple to use. They've got a USB port there to connect a charger. So that will be 5 volts going in there just from a normal USB cable. And then they've got two terminals here marked B that you connect to the battery. And then two terminals called out plus and minus that you connect to whatever source you want to charge, you want to power. And then this takes care of all of this for you. When it charges, it will stop at 4.2 volts. When it discharges, it will stop discharging at 3 volts. And it limits the current going in or out to 1 amp. So looking at these cells, this one is 360 milliamp hours. And lithium ion cells tend to have a C rate of 1. And that means that a 360 milliamp our cell shouldn't be charged with more than 360 milliamps. So remember that this this charging board is going to give out one amp. So what we can actually do is we can connect three of these in parallel and that will keep the voltage the same still in this range but it will triple the capacity. So it will be the sum of these. So it will be it will be a 1080 milliamp hour cell with three of these running in parallel um another thing we could do and this was my original thought was to use was to to use two of these ones so this is a this is a 550 milliamp hour cell and two of them would give us 1100 milliamp hours which would mean would also be within our rating of of one amp so my original idea was to connect two of these like this but we actually want them in parallel so we want the positives connected together and the negatives connected together but my original thought was to make a configuration like this connect the red on there to the red on there and the black on there to the black on there and have some padding in the middle to stop them 
from touching and then connect the battery charging board onto there and a USB connection onto there for the output um, and I've built one of them like this uh, I've covered it in tape so you can't see it that well but that's the battery charging board in there and two cells in there um, I don't actually love this design um, one of the issues with it that bugs me is that I've, I've put just a, a USB charging port on there and USB is always rated at 5 volts which as I said before these cells are providing a voltage between 3 and 4 volts so that's kind of that's just kind of feels like the wrong port it's just kind of the wrong convention not that it really matters if if you know what it is but like I don't know you that suggests to me that you can charge a phone on it and you definitely can't charge a phone on it because it's giving too too low a voltage so so then the next design I thought is to try to connect three of these like this in parallel with the charging board on there and rather than having a USB port on here I'm going to put one of these little Molex connectors on it which you just crimp onto bare wires with one of these kind of things so this is me building version 2 I'm checking the voltage of each of the cells and charging or discharging them to get them all very similar before I connect them together. I am discharge them by just connecting a computer fan to them and running it for a while while measuring the voltage. Then I connect them in parallel and attach the charging board and then cover it in a bit of tape. This is Captan tape which is handy for high temperatures. Um, and this is what I've ended up with. So this is going to be my standard battery pack for use in projects. Yeah, this is hopefully the first in a little series of videos. Um, I've got lots of ideas for this. I want to find different things that I can power with this and also find ways using cheap salvaged stuff to actually power this to basically charge this up uh, off grid so yeah like subscribe comment below all that shizzle uh, if you want to stay informed Take it easy. Peace out, man.